are you guys from? Friends. Yeah. Yeah. We are both uh, from the we same university both. in Lyon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. So, what are some stereotypical phrases of where you're from? Oh, um, bon appétit. Yeah. <laughs> so, where you're from? We're from uh, Washington, Washington State. State, from the so, western part of the states. Nice. Um, some of the things that we say are uh, hella. Um, what does that? It's like it's an adjective. So instead of saying really, you might say that's hella cool. Wow. Is that really cool? It's interesting. Yeah. So I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, and because there is such a huge emergence of the LDS culture, there's a lot of um, fake swearing. So you hear a lot of things like heck yeah, or what the frick, or OMG, oh my golly, things like that. The Philly accent's interesting. There's a lot of the, the O's are the weirdest for me, like orange and priority. That's really bizarre. Like It almost sounds nasally. I don't know. It's definitely different from where I'm from. You're not going to ask me about Australian expressions? Go ahead, tell us! Uh, so I've got uh, taking the piss, which means making fun of, a piss pot, which is uh, someone who drinks too much, true blue, someone who's really Australian, uh, avo, short for avocado, brolly, short for umbrella, barbie, short for barbecue, chuck a sicky, take a day off work, chuck a yui, turn your car around and do a U-turn, what is a global university? When we think about having students come to this campus in Philadelphia, living in a residential college community, we want students to learn from each other through their experiences, their cultural backgrounds, through their language study. We want to make sure that our students come away with truly a global perspective. Okay, so where are you from? I'm from Senegal. Uh, California, LA. Uh, Tampa, Florida. Cool. So three different places, huh? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, just in general, like the sort of Philadelphia accent thing. So, uh, so I don't know, but uh, definitely like John, Jumpy, uh, Case Quarter. Uh, now people are even saying Case Dollar, which is kind of weird, but that's how I eat. So, I don't know. Like in Mandarin, we say, What do you like to eat? And uh, in Shanghainese, we say, No All right. Well, as a linguist, I get really excited about language diversity because it's the source of all of the different languages in the world. The variation that we see today from person to person is the sort of raw material for the development of new languages over time. The processes of language differentiation in the speech community uh, that are driven by social things like gender, ethnicity, age, uh, those, are the, those are the same forces that lead you know, Latin to become French and Spanish and Portuguese, uh, that lead Old English to turn into Middle English to turn into Modern English. So from a linguistic point of view, it's really exciting that you can take a look at language change as it's actually happening. Are people surprised when you say you're from Puerto Rico that you don't, that you're not speaking Spanish? Definitely. They're like, oh, Puerto Rico, your English is so good. And I guess people sometimes forget it's part of the States. There's definitely some slang that's native to Nanjing uh, rather than Beijing or Shanghai. Can you tell us um, about it in, in Chinese? So, uh, Nanjing has like, a special language. For example? For example, you can say, what is the This is like a very, very, I think the nicest thing we say is how we say thank you and how we say you're welcome. We don't say thank you and you're welcome, we say here, receive my love. And as you're welcome, you say, I reciprocate your love back to you. Oh, and so cool. it's an exchange of love. Yeah. Terima kasih and kembali kasih. Alright. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing about this project is that <laughs> most people have a hard time actually deciding where to put their pin because most people have traveled a lot, they've lived many different places, and they also have many different ways of speaking. This year we had applicants from 146 countries around the world and from all 50 U.S. states. And I'm incredibly excited to say that we were able to offer an interview to applicants in all 50 states and all 146 of those countries. That's based on a network of alumni interviewers of over 15,000 people around the world meeting students face-to-face -face in large interview sessions and through virtual interviews over Skype or on the phone. So we're incredibly excited to finally be welcoming these students to campus uh, and we're incredibly proud of our alumni interviewers for helping to welcome them to the Penn Experience.